In this video, we're going to be talking about the recent Halo MCC development update, which goes into a lot about the quit bans, an update on the custom game browser, some Season 7 flight news, as well as the topic of hacking within the MCC. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we recently received a new update about the MCC that we do every Friday when it comes to letting us know what's going on with the MCC. A lot of people have a lot of questions about some of the stuff we recently tested out within the MCC, which gets touched on within this development update. So I'm gonna break this all down for you, a nice concise video for everyone. So if you like these news and informational videos, you wanna stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So let's just get through this right now and just work our way through this whole development update because there's a lot of really great information within this. So let's first, let's go into the quit bans that are going in with the MCC. Essentially, they noticed that there was a bit more of a trend of people quitting out of games within the MCC, so it's becoming more of an issue. So they're gonna bump up those bans a little bit more. But they said right here for you guys want to make any kind of clear information about when you can quit a game. So if you, any you guys here have any kind of confusion exactly how the quit ban system works, it says right here, so for players who have already had have half their team quit in the game, you're free to quit without any form of penalty. So if 50% of your team leaves, you can quit the game with zero effect of penalty. This also goes for all you guys who want to jump on, on our live streams, which you do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. That, if you guys want to play with us, make sure you don't quit out of your game to join us because it looks like it's going to be a much heftier weight than we had previously. As they stated right here, the original offense, first offense is a 5 minute ban. Second one is a 15 minute, third 30 minutes, fourth is 1 hour, next one is your fifth offense is 180 minutes, and then after that, their sixth offense is a whopping 16 hours, essentially just canceling you out for the rest of the day. Honestly, I'm all for this. I hate it when people quit out of my games. Just stick it through. It's If you're getting stomped, yeah, you'll probably lose and you'll be, have to have a bad time for like five, seven minutes and you get to play again. Just stop quitting, basically that. But if you're 50% of your team has already left, then you can quit. So if you guys remember a couple weekends ago, we had the custom game browser in game kind of flight thing that they had like a test build go in for everyone to play around with. And a lot of people certainly took their time to play the custom game browser. It was a ton of fun. I had a chance to play it as well. We played some custom games on stream. It was a ton of fun and it was full packed full of people. People are liking this feature. Now we're wondering, okay, so when should we see this coming in the game? And how was it received? Was there any kind of bugs or anything that 343 noticed? Well, they actually went into here and talking about that. So there were four main points of feedback that 343 got when it came to the custom game browser. One being the desiring the ability to quickly find the exact game or types of games that players wanted to play, like searching, sorting, and filtering. Second one was friction surrounding some game sessions, like lack of clarity for error messages, inability to join game sessions, and desire to have a queuing function as well, which actually would be really nice. Uh, for our third point, friction surrounding game session details. And the fourth one, desire for additional host controls. I actually went on the 343 forums and left my feedback as well. My main thing was that uh, I wanted the ability to stop the infinite loop of replaying the next game over is say like it's really tough to get like a full lobby going if you're not like some guy who has some kind of connections to get people into your lobby in some source so when you want to end that infinite loop of your game sessions you have to completely like back out of the server it seems like i never really found any kind of functionality to like end the infinite loop of playing games which is a really great feature this kind of keeps that fun rolling but it seemed like i had to back out and create a new server which completely kills the momentum of having like a full 16 player lobby which is kind of tough to find because there were so many servers that people were playing i mean i was playing on my twitch channel which some people in the chat were jumping in to kind of fill up the lobby but it took a while for us to get to a full 16 and once we did it was a lot of fun but we're all like like, hey, can we like switch up the maps or modes or something like that? Like, I wish I could, but that means I would have to back out of the lobby, create a whole new server, and that's just a whole issue. That was my biggest point that I wanted to have see, and also a sorting feature as well, but they actually did mention that something like the sorting and 
filtering features for find your exact matches is already in the works right now. So I'm assuming that might be something we'll see with the release of season seven. They also mentioned that they're looking to add a quick match option, which will just throw you into a lobby as soon as possible. So you don't have to like bother like searching or anything. If you just want somebody who just wants to play and see what happens, the quick match is there for you. Next, we got some juicy information about the flighting for season seven. Most likely this will probably happen towards the end of May as the seasons are supposed to happen every two months. And the release of season six happened on April 7th. So we can most likely assume to see it around the early part of June, maybe the first week as well. So it's coming right around the corner actually guys. Generally from what we've seen for the flighting process, it takes about a week or two for the flight and about two weeks off. And then we have the new season come around. They actually mentioned here specifically the four main things they're looking to do for season seven which could be very interesting for a lot of you e fans they mentioned four points for here improvements to visuals for halo combat evolved to better mirror legacy improvements to the maps waterfall and edge season seven customization content and various bug fixes if you guys don't know what they're talking about when it comes to CE images mirroring legacy better, as in there are a lot of visual bugs that are currently within the MCC version of CE because they utilize the gearbox port, which is kind of wonky. It comes with especially a lot of the visuals, like the bump mapping is completely wrong. A lot of the lighting's also kind of messed up as well. Late Night Gaming has an excellent video breaking the whole thing down. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. I feel like he was the biggest voice to kind of push that forward. So like, hey, you guys need to fix this. I didn't even realize how much of a visual downgrade the MCC version of Halo CE is compared to the original Xbox. I mean, it doesn't completely ruin my experience with the game, but it does have a little bit of an immersion breaking kind of visual where it actually does look better on the original Xbox than it does on the MCC. Also glad to see they're bringing improvements to Waterfall and Edge. Waterfall definitely does have some visual glitches and some bugs as well as some performance issues as well. So hopefully they can improve on that. I'm assuming Edge will get the same treatment. Most likely Edge will be coming with Season 7 as well, which would be a great addition. Edge is actually a really fun map. Plus, amazing screenshots <laughs> of course season 7 customization content which a lot of people have been asking for the champion bundle to finally come in for halo 4 no word on what we'll have for that but i definitely will let you guys know as soon as we have more information on what kind of content we will have for season 7 and of course various bug fixes as we get for every new season update and they stress here specifically to make sure you verify your emails if you want to be part of the flighting process. They said this specifically within the update right here saying verifying your email address and making sure it's up to date is the only way we can contact you when the time comes to send out flighting invites. So it seems like they're going back to the email format and not utilizing Halo Waypoint right now for like getting your message in from there. So make sure that Halo Waypoint is not set to your spam folder or set to go into some other kind of folder and make sure that you have your account verified as well to make sure that 343 is sending you the proper email. They also mentioned if you received a different Xbox or have updated your PC hardware in any way, make sure you update that in your Halo Insider profile as well. If you want to figure out how to get there, just literally type in Halo Insider program. It'll, the first link will take you right to where you need to go on Google search. Lastly, we're talking about the hacking within the MCC. It's kind of started to come up recently and they really haven't really have any kind of way right now to implement any kind of changes or anything like that. They said basically there's a Halo player report option you can do when you see someone hacking make sure you report them to make sure they get their account banned it did say that they are currently investigating and trying to figure out any kind of solutions to the cheating issues that are currently going on with the mcc because it's a never-ending arms race when it comes to cheaters and you know gaming just in general but literally just go to the halo support website if you really have any issues whatsoever just go to the halo support site they'll link you where you need to go they'll help you out with anything you have questions on as well and it's a good place for them to find their information so if you guys like these news and informational videos make sure you tap that like button if you missed any content for me recently or be on the loop for the last few days for halo make sure you check out the videos on the screen right here i got linked to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out